All right, y'all, you saw that thumbnail, you saw the title, you're clicking on it because you wanna make some smoked chickens and maybe you have a wood fire grill. So this is the video for you. Guys, honestly, this could be done on any smoker, but we're gonna use my Ninja Wood Fire Grill, right? We have two four and a half to five pound chickens, okay? Now, I am not looking for the crispiest skin or the right, you know, a certain color or anything like that. Guys, I am smoking these chickens just to get the shredded chicken, okay? We're gonna take both of these chickens when they're done and shred them up, um, use them for other meals, okay? So kind of like those rotisseries you would get at Costco, all right? But we've got the same idea, except we're giving it some smoke, all right? I'm not worried about the skin so much. Uh, I even, you know, tore it prepping the chicken, so I'm not really worried about that. We're just smoking the chicken. We're gonna cook them to 160 internal, and then pull them off and let them rest and carry over to 165 in the breast, okay? We're gonna use both of the probes that came with my XL, and I'll show you how we set it up on the app too, okay? Do not have a wood fire grill that has the internal probes. Guys, I stand behind my Temp Spike uh, Bluetooth wireless thermometer from uh, Thermapro, so I'll put a link down for that if you wanna grab one, okay? Being that this is a new cooker, I wanna go ahead and test out those probes and I'll make sure they're at least you know on the up and up, okay? How I prepared the birds, guys, I just took them out of the package, cleaned them up, dried them off, and then got them on a tray. I pushed apart all the skin away from the meat, I'm all the way around the breast into the legs, as much as I could reach with that skin. I did rip it on one of them. You know, like I said, it's not that big of a deal. And then the next thing I did was spray a little duck fat in there, uh, just adding a little extra moisture, a little extra fat into the chicken breast, okay? If you guys do not have duck fat, use whatever oil you like to use, whatever spray oil, or butter. You know, I, I, most of the time I'll stuff my birds with butter around the skin, so however you wanna do it, okay? And then I took some simple salt, pepper, garlic seasoning. Um, mine's from Uncle Steve Shake. I'll put a link down below for them too. It just got it into the skin and then got it all the way around the skin onto the meat you know just got it anywhere and everywhere into the cavity any anywhere i could okay so uh you want to make sure you're getting those flavors going in there and absorbing while it's cooking but as you're tearing apart the skin and, and shredding the chicken all those good spices and flavors are going to kind of mix in there too so um you know, you want to make sure you got a well seasoned bird. Now those birds are sitting in the house right now. We're going to go ahead and get this fired up. I'm using uh, Jack's pellets by Jealous Devil. Everybody always asks, guys, you can use whatever food safe pellets you like. Okay. This is just a blend. The blend is cherry, maple, and hickory. Okay. Really, I'm not stressing it. Again, you guys use whatever you want. Usually with chicken, get a little apple. Uh, apple wood works really well, but don't sweat it, okay? Don't overthink your pellets, okay? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get the pellets in, get the sink fired up, and we'll get the birds on. Shouldn't take very long. These aren't the biggest birds in town. We got the new XL, so I wanted to get a couple on there and check it out. Let's get this bad boy fired up. What do you say? Let's, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. We got our probes out here. We'll get them uh, plugged in when we get the birds on the grill. Let's turn this bad boy on. I love that it says hello. It's so polite. We're gonna go to the smoker setting. Let's do 325, okay? Timing. I think it'll be under an hour, but just to be safe, we'll go ahead and keep it at 130. We'll hit start. We're gonna let it go through the ignition process. With the chickens, I did a kind of a half-assed trussing on it just to keep them tight together. Don't follow me for trussing advice. <laughs> I'm like, I'm no butcher, but they're uh, tight and a fit perfectly in there and we'll be good to go. All right, come on back when this is done igniting. Let's get these birds on. One and two. See, we got plenty of room in there. Looking good. Let's go ahead and get our probes in. Got the gray one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yell at me. All right, we're gonna go into the breast right here. The thick part. Okay. I'll plug that back in. We'll come in here on this breast. Put that in there. Now to the left here, I'll show you just setting it up. And you just stare at my beautiful chickens. Gotta love that ninja explosion. So we'll go to the thermometer. Yes, we add the thermometer, manual temp. I want it to go to 160. Save changes. Add another thermometer. Okay. 
put thermometer 2 to 160 save changes all right hear it in there again all right so both my thermometers are set for 160. see you back here when it's 160. all right guys the first chicken uh, got up to temperature went a little bit past 160 so we're gonna go ahead and pull that one off second one is damn near there so uh, pull the first one off that's ready it up to temp and then we'll get the second one off when it comes up to temp actually as we're speaking they're both up to temp now all right let's go ahead and get them off it says get food we're gonna get both of the birds off we're gonna go ahead and tin them with a little foil on the side and let them rest and then um we'll we'll give them a try like i'll slice a little piece off but like i said i'm gonna be shredding these up and vacuum sealing them and stuff you don't really need to see on camera we'll we'll check the juiciness levels right and we'll give it a bite but other than that it's pretty uh yeah you know, like i said you don't need to see me shredding chicken all right all right, let's check them out. All right, y'all, there's our beautiful birdies. I'll get you in for a close-up right here. Look at the freaking color on those bad boys. That is some gorgeousness. Uh, my thing's yelling at me to shut the lid. That is some gorgeousness right there. Let's get them off. We'll get them tinted up, and then, uh, then we'll give them a try. Go ahead and get these birds off. I got my gloves on, so my skin is protected. I'm not gonna burn anything off. <laughs> They're lined you know barbecue gloves all right get these beautiful birdies get them on a tray here I'm telling you those colors are amazing look at all the juice just dripped out of everything i got a knife out here that we'll use to slice them up just so we could try them get these covered up just a loose tent on them i'm just more or less keeping them from the elements and the flies <laughs> We're going to let these rest for about 15, 20 minutes. Let those juices kind of redistribute and then uh, we'll uh, give them a try. While we let those rest, uh, just uh, I told you I'd tell you how long it took. Honestly, <laughs> someone's sawing behind me. I don't know if you guys can hear that. If you can, I'm sorry. Uh, guys, uh, at the beginning, I told you how long I guys at the beginning I told you uh, I would tell you how long it took. I'm sorry. Someone behind me is making a shit ton of noise, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys are picking that up or not, but it's right in my ears. It's driving me up a wall. Anyway, guys, it took about 50 minutes, give or take. Uh, I wasn't watching exactly to the dot. Uh, I should have, but based on when I started filming, when whatever, took about 50 minutes. I was at 325, okay, for both birds. Guys, they look phenomenal. I can't wait to slice in them and, uh, you know, show you the juice is loose. But guys, so good. All right. Come on back. Y'all, we've left this rest for a fair amount of time. I want to just kind of get into one of these breast pieces. Get that truss undone. Guys, like I said, I'm, I'm tearing off the skin. But you can see all oh, the juice is just running out of that skin. It's all over there. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, guys, I'm slicing into it. Getting a little piece out of there. We'll uh, check out the juiciness. Guys, it's not showing, but this thing is covered in juice. It's gorgeous. Love it. I'm squeezing enough out of there. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. Just juicy can be. Love it, love it, love it. Right. Let's go ahead and taste it real quick, and then I can start shredding into it. Guys, I just had to slice into the other one just to show it off. I mean, guys, that is just, just, you can shower and all that juice <laughs> love it love it all right guys this is awesome all right let's try it all right y'all got me a little of the breast meat they're still demoling demolitioning something back there i don't know whatever guys mm. i mean a chicken breast but pretty good guys it's weird for some reason it tastes like somebody squeezed all the juice out of it <laughs> all right guys this is gonna make the perfect pulled chicken for me um like i said it'll be for you know salads enchiladas whatever everything you do with your rotisserie chicken that you get from costco and same same oh, god I, I need to move into the country somewhere where there's no freaking neighbors or mowing their lawns or working on their houses or cars going by all right there's my rant for the day <laughs>
All right, y'all, if you want to get yourself one of these Woodfire XL grills, I have the links down below. Guys, I also have a couple e-cookbooks on the Woodfire that will translate to the XL, okay? So you can use it with your regular Woodfire grill or your XL. I'll have links down below for those two. Actually, the link for a bundle of the first and second Woodfire cookbooks where you save a couple bucks, so check them out. If you guys want to get anything I use in my videos from knives, cutting boards, uh, barbecue rubs, whatever. These are all down below. If you want to become a show producer like all the awesome people scrolling on the screen in front of me right now, people that want to go next door and uh, maybe take a bat to someone's leg who are using their freaking machine. Well, that's a little dark. <laughs> uh, maybe not those type of people. <laughs> hit, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.